What's up guys? Welcome to a new informational video in which I will discuss the usual skins. In today's video we will look at a few steps that you need to take before you want to build a loadout for yourself. I already have a few videos on loadouts but prices changed over time. However, they can give you an idea. I'm gonna keep the chat short, so I'll begin with the first step, the budget. Before anything else, you need to understand what is the amount of money that you are willing to spend on pixels, because everybody thinks differently and everyone has different choices and budgets. Do you want to spend 10 euros, 10 dollars, maybe 100, maybe 500? The lower the budget is, obviously there will be limitations where you cannot get a knife or maybe you cannot get gloves but still you can manage to pull off something really nice the next thing that you have to take into consideration after setting up the budget is the theme how do you want your inventory to look like do you want a particular color do you want it to be with flowers do you want it with a specific design do you maybe want a particular collection like the Prince Dreams or the Neo Noirs? There are plenty of guides on Reddit, but also on Steam that provide you with the different themes. So, the choice is yours. Now that you decided what color you like, it is time for the third step, which is how to spend your budget. My recommendation would be buy skins for the guns that you use. Are you an MP7 player? then get an MP7 skin. The M249 is a gun that you buy once every full moon, then don't get the skin for that. Try to spread your budget among the main weapons that you use, but also the main weapons in general, like the Glock, the USP, maybe the P2K in case you use that, an AK, an OP, an M4, the MP9, the MAC-10, maybe a Tech 9 and maybe a Nova or an XM. Again, the choice is yours, and it totally depends on the budget. Now that you have a budget in mind, you chose the team and you already know which guns you use mainly, it is time to do some shopping. Where can you buy the skins from? Well, there are many third-party websites, and depending on your preferences, location, methods of payment and discounts that you can find, you can use Skinport that has a great variety of skins, you can use Skin Baron. Bitskins is also an option. You can opt for D Market or Gamer Pay, and there are a few more to name. It's just about your patience while searching for the desired skins. Also, these are the safest options to get skins. There's one more option, not as safe as the websites, but still, I would say that is pretty safe given that I've dealt with traders before. You can buy the skins directly from traders and resellers with good reputation. Another extra step for you to consider is the crafts. Maybe you like skins in a certain way. Maybe you have a better artistic eye than I do, which you probably do. In that case, you have to look for skins that are already fitting your chosen team, but you should be prepared to pay a bit of extra in terms of overpay for the crafts. Another thing that you can do is to make the craft yourself. However, that might cost you more than finding the craft that's already made. But if you have the money to spare, do it as you please. Especially that now you can position the stickers however you want. Now, as an example, I will walk you through a loadout with a color theme that fits the 10 euro budget. I'll begin with what I mentioned earlier, one of the primary weapons which is the OP Duality. It comes in field tested, but hey, it's pretty nice. Another skin that fits the description is the M4A1S Night Terror. It's cheap and it's a primary weapon again. But maybe you do not like the M4A1S because that might be a problem for you. You want those 10 extra bullets. So I got you covered. I got the M4A4 Converter to cover the red loadout. I think it is safe to mention that now we can finally go into the pistols. So for the T side, to keep it simple, we have the Glock Candy Apple. If you have a pistol for the T side, 
why not have one for the city side as well? So, I got the USB check engine. Going into the SMGs, for the Mac 10, I could have chosen the candy apple, but I decided to be a bit more stylish. So, I got the Sakaku. To keep it even on both sides, I also decided to get the skin for the city side, which is the MP9 Ruby Poison Dart. Unfortunately, there are no AKs that are under the 10 euro budget. So, I decided to go with the other assault rifle from the T side, which is the Galil Signal, and I even managed to pull off a little craft, because it was the first listing on the website. If you are not satisfied with the Galil, I got for you an SG Darkwing. Remember that I also mentioned that maybe you want a shotgun in your loadout, so you can use a Nova, which is already crafted with some stickers that are really cheap. The Nova itself costs around 10 cents, and then each sticker costs about 1 or 2 cents each, so it's super cheap to make. Uh, and, by the way, this Nova, you can also use it for both sides, so that's a win. And now, Given that I have some additional budget to spare, I decided to get a few more red skins to fit the description. So, I can start with the 5.7 Urban Hazard. I remember that I mentioned at the beginning of the video the following. If you're an MP7 player, you should totally get yourself a skin on the MP7. From my personal choice, I am actually a Mag 7 player. So, I decided to get myself a skin. Before I wrap up, I just wanted to say that I hope this video was useful for you. I hope that you are ready to take your loadout to the next level. I hope that you liked the video, and if you like this sort of content, don't hesitate to click on the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and happy shopping!